So in this video, we're going to be looking at shear transformations using matrices. Now, it's going to be easier for me to just show you what a shear transformation looks like. So we have our nice little box here. Uh, let's perform a shear transformation. All right, and you can see that our nice little square has turned into a parallelogram. It's been sort of squashed away from that y-axis. We'll talk about exactly what's going on there in a second. Um, now, of course, you can do shears in the other direction as well. I'll just reset that. Uh, let's go the other way. And here we're performing a shear sort of upwards there. Okay, let's talk about what's actually happening with those shears. And again, it's all about this little orange dot here and this little blue dot here. Let's consider the blue dot first. And we know the blue dot has a starting position of 0, 1. Now, if I change this number 0 to something else, I'm effectively moving the blue dot across. Uh, I'm going to move it to, say, 0 0.5. And that moves the blue dot across by 0 0.5. What that in effect does, if you've watched the whole um, plane, has skewed everything across. So the point 0 0.02 is uh, now 1, 2. The point uh, 0 0.04 is now 2, 4. The point uh, 0 0.06 is now 3, Six. So we've been pushing it across. Um, a bit of fancy language we can use for that. A shear moves every point by an amount that is proportional to its distance from the x or y axis. So what that basically says is the further away a point is from the axis, the further a shear is going to move it. And that's pretty obvious when we look here. Here, my shear of 0 0.5 moved the point 0, 0.1, 0 0.5 away, but it moved the point 0, 0.02, 1 away. So it's proportional to how far up the chain, we, how far up the axis we go. Now, just so we get the terminology right, this is a shear parallel to the x-axis. So we're pushing it, we've, we've sort of pushed the box parallel to the x-axis. Now, I can also, of course, do a shear that is parallel to the y-axis. So you can see I'm pushing upwards here. I'm pushing parallel to the y-axis. So just don't get confused there. Shearing parallel to the x-axis, pushing across the x-axis. Shear parallel to the y-axis, pushing up parallel to the y-axis. All right, so let's do a couple. Uh, a shear parallel to the x-axis. So we've got this two by two box here, and we're going to create, perform this shear transformation. Now, what's it doing? Well, it's taking the point 0, 1. So I'll just put in the point 0, 1 here so you can see it about there. And it's moving the point 0, 1 across uh, to 2, actually. It's moving it over to like here. So that's moved that point across. Now, how much is it going to move this, this point across, though? Well, it's going to move that point across um, by this here times whatever the y value is. Now, I know that's a bit confusing, but it's going to be a little bit easier if we add in a little bit of notation here. A shear parallel to the x-axis is a transformation of the form xy will become x plus cy, y. Okay, so let's do the easy bits first. That's just going to become the point with a y-coordinate of 2. So the y-coordinate didn't change. Now, the x-coordinate is going to be the original x-coordinate plus uh, the c-value times y. Now, the c-value in this case is 2, and the y was 2. So, the original x-coordinate is 0. So, 0 plus 2 times 2, we're going to get 4. So, we've moved over by that factor. Now, this next point here... It started as 2, 2, and it's going to move over to be, well, the y-coordinate won't change, so that's just going to be 2. The x-coordinate is going to be the original x-coordinate, which is 2, plus 2 times the y-coordinate, which is 2. 2 plus 2 times 2 is 
six. So there we have a shear parallel to the x-axis. Now, of course, we're going to have to do a shear parallel to the y-axis. So let's create another little box here at 2, 2. But this time, we're moving the point uh, 1, 0 to 1, negative 1. So where's the point 1, 0? It's right here. And we're going to move it down like that. And that means that we're going to skew the entire plane which means that that point's going to move down like that, that point's going to move down like that, etc., etc. Now, uh, let's figure out what the points are. Now, these points don't change because they're sitting on the y-axis and you move proportional to your distance from the y-axis. So if you're on the y-axis, you don't move. Uh, now, these points here, let's consider where they were. Now, their x-coordinates won't change. So that's still going to be two something, and that's still going to be two something. And now let's consider their y coordinates. It's going to be uh, cx plus y. Well, their original x coordinate was two, both of them. Um, so then we just need to figure out what cx plus y. So two times negative one is negative two plus the y coordinate plus two. That would be zero. It's pretty obvious because it's sitting on the plane itself. And this next one, uh, cx plus y, well, the c is negative one times the x coordinate, which is two. So negative one times two is negative two, plus the y coordinate. Its original y coordinate was zero. So then that's um, negative two plus zero, negative two. Okay, so there are a couple of shears, a shear parallel to the x-axis, a shear parallel to the y-axis. Now we've done that, we might do an example here. Example one, find the image of the point 3, 4 after a shear of factor 4 parallel to the x-axis. All right, so doing this algebraically, we need the image, which we can call A dash. It's going to be equal to the transformation matrix times uh, the original point three four uh, so that's a and this is our linear transformation matrix okay so what do we do here well we need a, a one and a one because we're just doing a shear now uh, parallel to the x-axis so we're pushing across that means that the uh, the y coordinate uh, that zero one is the one that's going to be affected and a shear of factor four Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Now we just do like a, a matrix calculation to figure out what the image is. Uh, one times three, uh, four times four, that should be 19. And zero times three, one times four, that should be four. So uh, find the image of the point three, four after a shear factor of four parallel to the x-axis, we get a new point of 19. Four, we can say that a dash equals 19, 4. If we want to do like a little therefore, we can say that 0.34 transforms to 19, 4. Now you can, of course, take this to an extreme-ish example here. Uh, find the image of O, A, B. When a triangle with the points, those points, is transformed by a shear factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis. So if we take this triangle, O, B, A, and we uh, transform it by a shear factor parallel to the y-axis, well, our transform function, or transform matrix, I should say, would be this one right here. That 2 is transforming, it's pushing everything upwards. Um, and then we just take each of the points in turn. Obviously, the origin's not going to move. We take the A and we move A by multiplying it by that matrix or transform A. We take B and transform it and we get a third point B. And then we join them up and we get our new function. I don't want to go through each of those bits in turn, but there's our general idea. Okay, they are shear transformations using matrices.